interesting despise him, isn't he? He's a proper old school gentleman. Money was just coming in, he was making that much money. And I just thought it'd be a lovely gesture to, to honour him and put a smile on hopefully people's faces locally. He's just amazing how he's done it. He's just there with a piece of paper and, and a spray can. I'm amazed how good it's come out. And I've done some big scale stuff, uh, you know, and had publicity. Um, you know, in the past, but not not at this not at this scale. I think it's because he's such a you know he's such a, a national hero at the moment, and we're living in such a crazy time. It just pulled on a few heartstrings, I think, and uh, everybody seems to love it. It's just absolutely crazy. I knew it was going to go mad because it's virtually every car that drove past would be in the hall. Whenever I'm painting a portrait, it's got to look like the guy. You know, more than anything else. And that's always a little bit of a worry in your mind. So oh, I could spend ages doing a really detailed portrait, but it might look like someone else I might not capture him. So I suppose it's relief <laughs> that it actually looks like the person he's supposed to be. I expected, you know, the people at town would have to enjoy it, but the way it's gone, just didn't expect it. It's just getting people to smile. I mean, so, you know, we're in some bad times at the minute. People love it. You know, that, that man has got so much respect. Yeah. from the whole of the country. It's just incredible. We wanted to do it as, you know, as a thank you to that man. He's a, he's a true hero, what, what he's done.